hey, pleasant good morning to you. God is so good. I thank him for life. I thank him for the life of my friend's father who they formed this army. Listen, the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 16, 17, and 18. Listen to what it says. It says, pray without ceasing. That's verse 17. But verse 16 says, rejoice evermore. And then in verse 18, it says, in everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Now, three strange texts, but they are connected. Uh, the first one I read says, pray without ceasing. No matter what is the situation, you lost a loved one through death or they just literally lost like at sea or in the forest or wherever. Pray. Even though you don't know the outcome and everything may be saying that the outcome is negative, still pray because remember you don't know what the outcome is. Look, look, look at my friend, right? Uh, my friend's son. He's lost since Saturday night. And listen, they continue to pray and pray and pray at the home. And today they found him. Did they know that they would find him? No, but they continue to pray. The text says, pray without ceasing, even though you do not know the outcome. Now listen to this one. Verse 16 says, or First Thessalonians chapter 5, it says, rejoice evermore. Well, listen, if they didn't find him, you would say there's no reason to rejoice. And I can't argue with that. I cannot argue with that. But on many occasions, uh, when we pray and the positive occurs, uh, how we want the prayer to be answered, it is answered that way. You know, sometimes we don't rejoice or our rejoicing is short-lived. Let me say a very good way of rejoicing when we get the answer to our prayers. Tell everybody. And don't tell them today alone. Tell them over and over. You're bigging up God. Everybody want to talk negative things about God. But God caused this and God caused that. And the insurance people, they want to say when they don't want to pay back claims, they say, oh, that's an act of God. Go and get your money from God. So when we pray and something positive has happened, we must talk about it rejoice evermore and when you talk smile and jump up and shout nobody could stop you rejoice evermore very important and then the final one says in everything give thanks for this is the will of god in christ jesus concerning you let me tell you why you must give thanks you know a man we went to pray for a man one time he was in his 80s and he said pass what are you all praying for right and then he went on to say don't pray for me to get better because I don't want to get better. I have completed my service here on earth. Now, listen to this. This man, right, this thing says in everything give thanks for this is the will of God. Listen, sometimes when we pray and we do not get our desired answer, we get vexed. But God sees. He knows the future. And if God says this is the answer I give at this point in time, please be a mature enough Christian and accept that answer. God and Father, help us today to have confidence in you and to accept the answers you give to us when we pray. Help us to humble ourselves and see you, God, as the one who sees into the future. Thanks ever so much. And thanks, O oh God, for helping us and especially the son that we a coach, I call him, to find all them this hour. We praise you, we thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. May God reach you this. Amen.